I'm going to teach you guys how to draw a real quick person in perfect body proportion. Jack, everybody, I need everybody to put your stuff down. Okay, so the body's proportion is the same for everyone, unless there's a genetic issue like Down's syndrome, people that have a, one less chromosome in this situation might have different body proportions, but in general, this, these rules apply to most people. And so um, the first thing, when you're drawing a person in perfect body proportion, the first thing that you have to do is determine how tall the person's going to be drawn. So this is gonna be a line that represents the top of the head, and this is the line that represents the bottom of the feet. So now you got to start breaking this space up into all the different body parts. And I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Here's the question. Where's the halfway point of your body? Most people wanna say it's right here, the waist, which is not true. Did you know that your legs represent half your body height? From here all the way down to the floor, if you took that measurement, it would be the same as from here all the way to the top of your head. And here are some interesting facts. Your wingspan is your body height. So from, tip, from this tip of my finger to this tip of my finger is six feet, and I am six feet tall. So um, I'm gonna draw my body, top of the head, bottom of the feet, but first I gotta divide this up correctly. So I know that legs are, it represent exactly half my body height, so I'm going to find where the middle is, and I'm gonna put a little line here, and remember we do measuring. You don't have to measure with a ruler. You can measure with your pencil. You can put your pencil down and measure that height, okay? You can measure with your hands. If I stretch my fingers out like this, it touches both lines. And if I stretch my fingers out like that, it touches both lines. So that's in the middle and you can just eyeball it. Yes, that's about in the middle. That's where you want to be. So that is the second mark you make. After you figure out how high your person's gonna be drawn, you figure out where the middle is. Now you want to break this up into fourths. So in here, you're gonna put a smaller line that so that you, when you look at this you can say okay that's the fourth and the longer line is for the middle make sure that those are that dot is in the middle between this space make sure that dot is in the middle between this space so now it's divided into fourths now because if you chopped my head off which some of you are probably fantasizing about doing right now and stacked eight of them up that is my body height so from the floor to here is four, and from here to here is four head lengths. So I'm going to put a little dot to represent the eighths marks like this. Make sure those get in the middle. Okay, so now let's talk about a head. I'm going to draw my head first. The head represents one eighth of your body height. So I'm going to draw a head right here. And let's talk about a head. This is an alien head. Okay, this is a Charlie Brown head, and your head, you want, if you're just doing a generic body, just needs to be an oval, an egg-shaped oval right here. Okay, perfect. Now, your shoulders represent three head widths, or one and a half of your head lengths turned this way. So your shoulders represent, so I could fit one of my heads here, here's one of my heads, and then one of my heads from here to the end of my shoulder. So I'm going to take this length and a half, turn it this way, and that's my shoulders. I'm going to draw this in a different color so that you all can see the difference between the black marks that I've made and this. So I'm going to put this in. Okay, this is, these are my shoulders. All right. So the shoulders are three head widths. Now let's talk about the pelvis. Your pelvis is gonna sit on this middle line and go above it. Never put your pelvis down below that middle line. From this middle line all the way down represents nothing but legs. 
because your legs represent half your body height. So I'm gonna make a round pelvis shape right here that sits on top of this middle line. And your pelvis is going to be two head widths. So from here to here is a head width and from here to here is a head width. And you're drawing a person that represents a normal body mass index. Some people are thinner, some people have more muscle, some people have more fat, some people have less, but we're just gonna do sort of in the moderate to normal range of body mass index. So the pelvis that I draw is gonna be a circle and it's gonna be two head widths right here, okay. Now I'm gonna draw my shoulders into my pelvis to make a torso. So take this outside line and draw it into here. And this represents your waist. So your waist is actually above the middle point. So on my own body, this is my waist and this is where my legs begin and go all the way down. All right, now I'm gonna just draw the legs because I know that from here to here is nothing but leg. And the first thing I wanna draw are my kneecaps. Your kneecaps from the floor up to your kneecaps represents one fourth of your body height. So I already have that line here. I'm gonna draw a circle to represent a kneecap and another circle to represent another kneecap. And I'm gonna draw my leg from the outside of my hip to the outside of that kneecap. And on the other side, the same thing. On the inside of my pelvis, right here where the crotch is, you're gonna put a line straight down to this other side of your knee, and like this, okay? And then when you draw the calf, which represents one quarter of your body height, you want to draw your calf where the calf muscle is fatter up here, and as you draw it down, it gets, it tapers a little bit to form your ankle. So I'm gonna draw it like that. I'm gonna draw it just a little bit bigger here and it tapers to a, an ankle. And then your foot needs to be, everything is proportional to yourself. Like evidently, your, the measurement from your wrist to your elbow is your shoe size, it's your foot size. So you need to make it substantial. A lot of times people will make tiny little feet that don't support the weight of the body, I mean the height of the body. I'm gonna put a little neck in here. Okay. And now let's draw the arms. Your elbows go to your belly button. Everybody's does, you can chest that out. Here's my belly button, here's my elbow. And that's the same for everybody. So right here where my belly button is, I'm gonna put another line that's gonna represent this elbow joint. And now from the outside, I'm gonna use a straight line. This is a straight line here, and I've gotta go in my armpit a little bit, make another straight line there. Hands go below the middle line. A lot of times when people do see cartoon drawings, the hands end right here. Your fingertip goes to the middle of your thigh. So it's gonna go, your fingertip goes all the way to the middle of the thigh. So I'm going to draw my forearm stops at the middle, stops right here where my legs begin, and the hand extends below that middle line. So here's my hand, and it's gonna stay, and it's gonna go below that. I'm gonna draw a generic hand like that. So this, your fingertips go to mid thigh, okay? And then I'm gonna finish out the other side. I'm gonna erase a little bit of that right here so that I can get my armpit drawn. Nice straight lines. Here's a common mistake. Common mistakes when somebody's doing this, they will curve, this is the elbow, they will curve the lines like this and draw a hand. Your bones are straight. Now it looks round, but this is actually a straight line, straight line, straight line. So don't draw them curved. Draw those, those straight. And then your challenge today is going to be to draw figures in motion doing different things. Okay, and then here's this. And then the hand goes right there. Okay, so this is how, and I'm, I, we're not gonna study facial proportion. 
although that's a whole nother lesson. But this is how you draw a body in perfect proportion, and I'd like for you to do one of those real quick in your sketchbook journals. The first thing you do is put a line for the top of the head and a line for the bottom of the feet. Yeah. Then you're gonna divide it in half, then you're gonna find your fourths, and then your eighths, and then you are going to set it up just like I did. You're gonna draw your head first, which represents one eighth of your body height, then shoulders, then pelvis, then legs, arms, the whole nine yards. I want you to recreate that in your sketchbook journal. So use one page and put a line from the, at the top and a line at the bottom and then work it out like that. Thank you.